Hello, I'm Seth Udinsky, and this is This Day in History. This day in history, January 21st, we explore one of the most complex and fascinating figures in American military history. On January 21st, 1824, a baby boy was born in Clarksburg, Virginia. His name was Thomas Jackson, and during the American Civil War, he would become the second most famous general of the Confederate Army after General Robert E. Lee. Most people do not recognize him by his given name, but many do know him by his legendary nickname, Stonewall Jackson. Orphaned as a young boy, Jackson grew up in Lewis County, Virginia and enrolled at West Point Military Academy at the age of 18. He fought in the Mexican-American War and steadily rose up the ranks in the U.S. Army before retiring in 1851. For the next decade, he served as a professor at the Virginia Military Institute. Jackson was a complicated figure, deeply devout in his Christian faith and especially confident in the sovereignty of God. Jackson was quiet and aloof, but utterly resolute on the field of battle. He was a supreme military commander who chose to deny the pomp of most military commanders of the time. He rode a small horse, he dressed humbly, and he often lived in the same quarters as his men. Just like his superior, General Robert E. Lee, Jackson was not fond of slavery, but when Virginia seceded from the Union in 1861, Jackson remained loyal to his home state and enlisted in the Confederate Army. At the first Battle of Bull Run in July of 1861, Jackson led the Confederate forces to a surprising victory over the Union, and it was here that he earned the nickname Stonewall. He became a major general and led the rebels to vital victories in the Shenandoah Valley in 1862. In May of 1863, the Confederates were gaining ground on the Union at Chancellorsville. Jackson returned to headquarters after a successful day when he was caught in friendly fire. He was hit multiple times and was forced to have his left arm amputated. Jackson contracted pneumonia from the wound and died on May 10, 1863. Robert E. Lee mourned the loss of Stonewall Jackson with these immortal words, He has lost his left arm, but I have lost my right. The war continued on for two years until the Confederate Army surrendered in Appomattox, Maryland on April 9, 1865.